90. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see what's in the box. So inside the box we've got instructions. We've got a charger. Like so. Got a USB cable. We've got a wrist strap. We've got the UK three pin plug that goes in the charger. We've got the camera itself. Oh, this is very small and sleek. And we've got an NPBX1 battery. So just looking around the camera, we've got a fully articulating flip screen that goes up like so. On the side you can see we have a little button that the finder pops up and then this pulls out and we've got a little viewfinder here. Push it in and pop it down. We've got flash control here. So a flash pops up and we can, you can angle the flash sort of. It's not a brilliant, brilliant angling, but I feel like I'm gonna break it. So really it just pops down. We've got on off switch, mode dial here, zoom rocker and shutter button. We've got quite a nice grip here, although it does feel plasticky. Here we've got battery, compartment, HDMI out, tripod socket. On the back we've got movie mode, we've got a little rest here for, our, for the thumb. That feels a little bit loose, just moving around there. Uh, button there, playback button and another button. Feels very lightweight, so let's put the battery in. So I'm doing a shot with a HX90 and I'm starting on its automatic mode, so that's I, Intelligent Auto. Let's see how well it does. So now we're testing ISO. I've set the camera to its lowest ISO, ISO 80. I'll put it in aperture priority because it's on a tripod. Um, it doesn't matter how long my shutter speed is for. And I'm gonna ramp through the ISOs starting at 80. I'm gonna put a two second timer on as well. So I'm gonna to go to ISO 100. Auto ISO multi frame. Which takes three shots and does some processing. And standard auto ISO.